think that reservation should have been done many, many, many years ago. We need to see more women in the parliament as well, more women fighting elections, more tickets given to women. If you see the parliament right now, it's a man's dominated uh, spot. But my problem here with this reservation is something very different. When it was introduced uh, and passed in Rajya Sabha in 2010, census and delimitation was not a part of it. And hence, now that you bring, in, uh, bring mm -hmm. it in as a part of it, you're delaying this entire exercise by 2010. 29 is when it's going to get implemented so why not now my issue is only this something that should have been done years ago is now going to take another few more years for it to uh, actually come into effect and uh, while, while, while I agree with you that, you know, uh, 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 when you're talking about gender parity, reservations go against it. But just look at the numbers here. We need more women no, leaders. I right. I do also bring in the it corporate is. perspective. Right? Look yeah. at the corporate yeah. world. I mean, even after <laughs> saying that you have to have a certain amount of representation of women on boards of companies, we've made progress. But it's nominal progress. It's still not the and, norm. And, and by yeah. and large, women are in powerful <laughs> positions. If you're an entrepreneur or a founder of the company, hardly yeah, ever that you're... That's that's, made to be the CEO. Sir, I think no, even if you see this resolution coming through, it's largely going to be family fronted. It's yeah. my worry. No, I know it's know, ideal okay, speak. I, 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 I know it's ideal yeah. speak. I, you yeah. know, I think you know a lot of us who say, um, you know, who are on the fence come from a point of acute privilege of being yeah. women, uh, you know, or, you know, yeah. where you talk about the uh, SCST reservation, yeah. technically the creamy layer. Yeah. And I think all of us will accept that we are the yeah. creamy layer where it comes okay. down to women. Yeah. So um, in terms of, uh, uh, Neha, uh, Neha, Neha. Neha, you want to come in on this? In, do you agree that, uh, I that think it's really agree. not going to be the best possible way to empower women? Or do you stand by the fact that you know, in the long run, this is exactly what we need? It's exactly what we need. And okay. the reason for this is because uh, you said, Preeti, that shouldn't have political parties given more representation to women by themselves. Who's done it? Has Congress done it? Exactly. Sonia Gandhi was at the exactly. forefront of this in 2010 and personally disappointed when the alliance partners refused to support her. Samajwadi Party, RJD, a part of UPA2, refused to support her. What did the Congress do? Did the Congress give tickets to women? They did not. I think the only political party which gave representation uh, to women was the Trinamool Congress to an extent. So if you were to leave it to political parties, women will not get representation. But I you think know, Sneha, the I'll beginning just why yes. I say that is I think you know, we've got to give due where, it's, uh, where one should. Mm -hmm. Um, political history stands testimony that the left parties publicly and even internally have given a lot of representation to women. To women. Gita Mukherjee was yes. one of, you know, uh, it was, uh, you know, an icon of that as well. Yes. So in that context, yes. But, but not yeah. everyone. How ironical that the Samajwadi Party, the RJD, have Socialist. a caste-based politics okay. often. Yes. They are the ones who push caste reservation. For reservation. Not, but on gender reservation, women, yes. they'd like to take beyond you know, the know, I want to bring in Aishwarya and Sakshi into this yeah. conversation. Mm -hmm. Both of them haven't had a word in. Aishwarya, you know, you go back to... Uh, uh, Many times this bill has been tabled. Uh, I still remember uh, when it was torn up, and strangely at that time, it was torn up by none else but Samajwadi Party M women MPs. Yes. And then on the other hand, you've had the likes of socialist leaders who've been openly, vehemently against it, like Lalu Prasad, uh, Mulaya, Nitish Kumar as yes. well, uh, uh, you know, opposing it. Many would ask uh, Aishwarya, because you cover the BJP as well, that why now? You know, you've had brute majority. Why not, uh, you know, the time was right uh, four years ago, five years ago. Uh, why choose right now? Because there's going to be political implications read into it that maybe it's not empowerment what the government's trying to do, but set a political narrative. You could have done it earlier because, you know, the Congress can go with the card saying that, listen, uh, we never had that kind of majority. We tried Our allies yeah. never supported yes. us. Preeti, you know, you spoke about the Bharti Janta Party. Let me tell you, all of us, and especially Paulome and I, whenever we are at the Bharti Janta Party headquarters, you know, every time we sit in a room, it's two or three women against at least 15 men. And it is a reality. You know, wherever you sit, whenever you go to meet someone, you, you feel that it really is a male-dominated society. And let me tell you, we, we have seen snide remarks being made that now we will have Sansad Pati. Mm. In the mm. parliament, you know, while they are making sure that there is a woman reservation bill that comes out, they are trying to make sure that it gets pushed. But yes, one thing that we do here is they don't like it. They just don't like it. They don't like women chief ministers. They don't like women bosses. They don't like but any I, I woman who has a mind of her own. Such an important point. Because they they, they just don't like the, it. About the narrative yes, around women like changing. It. And that is a it's far totally bigger fight. You know, but then Sakshi. Let Sakshi come and let her get in a word. But Sakshi, the question I want to ask you is, in the realm of business, right? Um, 
and I have to say, you guys have done a lot better in terms of women empowerment than, say, politics or the other spheres. You see a lot of empowered women out there, uh, you know, going about running uh, strong businesses. Absolutely. But, uh, Preeti, it's still been, uh, you know, far-fetched, really. Uh, still, SEBI has to send notices to all the businesses asking, you know, what is the mandate and what are you following it? And why only one or two uh, women on the board seats then? Mm -hmm. Why not more? If SEBI has just mandated one or two seats, why can't you go beyond it? Why can't you look for people? people who are uh, equal or more talented to have more representations on the board as well. Likewise, on the country front as well, until and unless you give an opportunity, how am I going to show my talent? How am I going to really push for policies that are made for our uh, gender, that are also made by us as well? And that is what uh, the point really is, and that is what I believe this Women's Reservation Bill is likely to point Can I just out. make yeah. one more point yeah. here about uh, women leaders not doing enough for women reservation? Yeah. I do feel that, you know, a lot more parliamentarians, women parliamentarians could have led from the front. Yeah. I'd say that right now it was maybe only Kalva Kuntla Kavita mm. who kind of you know, pushed this forward for the last many months. I feel our women members of parliament kind yeah, of let us down. Like Shushma Sh 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 Swaraj yeah, really yeah. fought for it before, yeah. before her yeah. passing. Yeah. She really fought and she rallied behind a lot of the people who lost the support the bill. So a they lot of women yeah. have been behind done it. Enough. Sonia Gandhi has done it. Uh, she, she has did, rallied she behind did. the bill. You know, so I have a lot of women have, but it's unfortunate that the men haven't supported it. No, I have a very different view on it. And, you know, yes, they haven't done much, but... You know, look at these, it's, uh, what is the percentage of these women? You're making your own way in a highly male-dominated uh, arena, which is deeply patriarchal. Uh, you know, if political parties don't have gumption to give tickets to women, uh, you can't expect these women to do it because they've got to watch their back all the but time. But powerful women, women, it's a very different uh, fight. If powerful that they're women in. don't do it, who True. will? I agree, but then you've got to put enough on the table then. You've got to empower enough of them to find a collective voice. And it's happened in Parliament. India's number one political reporter defines what seems to be happening when that are politics. Unmatched eye, unmatched experience. The world has changed. My black hair has become grey as well. And with unmatched passion for the story. Do not monopolize the conversation. When it's 100% news that matters, it's News Today with Rajdeep Sardesai. Monday to Friday, 9 p.m. Only on India Today TV. India's number one political reporter defines what seems to be happening when data politics. Koi dud ke se dula hua nahi hai. Unmatched eye, unmatched experience. The world has changed. My black hair has become grey as well. And with unmatched passion for the story. Do not monopolize the conversation. When it's hundred percent news that matters, it's news today with Rajdeep Sardesai. Monday to Friday, 9 p.m. Only on India Today TV. India's number one political reporter defines what seems to be happening when data politics. Koi dud ke se dula hua nahi hai. Unmatched eye, unmatched experience. The world has changed. My black hair has become grey as well. And with unmatched passion for the story. Do not monopolize the conversation. When it's hundred percent news that matters, it's news today with Rajdeep Sardesai. Monday to Friday, 9 p.m. Only on India Today TV.